in a relationship, I've seen people, and I've done this myself, Welcome back to another video. My name is Christelle and I help you heal from the inside out to be able to have a healthy relationship with yourself, cultivate relationships around you and find that special person in your life. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to build your self-esteem to be able to be a more confident person so you can actually start figuring out who you are from the inside out. First and foremost, number one is, do you actually love yourself? I want you to ask yourself this question. Do you love yourself? Do you know what that means to love yourself? And I want to give you a visual because this is like the best visual that I could possibly think of right now in this moment is, I haven't experienced this, but all of my friends have kids. And I just know as a woman that this is the truth. So unconditionally loving yourself is kind of like a mom giving birth and having her child on her chest for the first time and feeling that love, deep love, for someone, right, that you don't even know, but it's just totally unexplainable, right? You'll do anything for that person and you don't even know them. On the flip side, when that child does get older, you're gonna discipline them in love as well to help teach them the path of least resistance the best way that you can. Even if it's something that you don't want to discipline the child in. And I think a lot of us experience things like this in relationships, but we don't necessarily do the right thing, right? In a relationship, I've seen people, and I've done this myself, is like when people do something to you, it's not very loving, it's not nice, but we stay around, right? We don't leave. We're like, well, he was having a bad day or she was having a bad day. You know, we make, a, make up excuses for this person about their past or what they went through and the reasons why they're acting this way, right? And so within that, you're not loving yourself at all. Loving yourself unconditionally is disciplining yourself in ways you might not want to discipline yourself. <laughs> ways that might be kind of hard for you and challenging. If you're needing to actually let go of the person because they did something to you and you're showing yourself love by doing this, you're actually really showing them love too because you're letting them go. You're kind of in a way teaching them a lesson, but it's in love. As long as you're not having any anger with it, right? We've got to make sure that we check ourselves when we're taking action in relationships. We wanna make sure that we're always acting within love and not anger, right? So really working on the relationship within yourself is actually loving yourself deeper and cultivating that relationship with your higher power because your higher power is there, you know, the universe, God, your intuition, that that energy and feeling that's there that is not of this world, right? It's not human. That in itself is unconditional love because the universe, God, you know, higher power, the intuition within yourself, you know, the purple monkey in the sky, whatever you believe that, that energy, that energy is all of love because ever that is working for you. You know, you hear the saying, the universe is working for you and not against you, right? Okay, well, so is your God, so is higher power, so is whatever you, that energy, whatever you wanna call it, that energy is working for you, for your greatest good, to give you the path of least resistance, right? So listening to your intuition, you know, that's higher power, showing you the past path of least resistance so that you can get to where you want to go quicker, but often we don't really listen to it. I definitely used to not listen to it how I do now at all, but you can change. Okay, so second is stop being so critical and mean to yourself. So many people are so critical of their appearance, of what they say, what they do. If you forget to do something, do you kick yourself and then put yourself in a corner for it? A lot of the times people will actually unconsciously sabotage themselves when they do something like that. 
You have to remember that you're a human being. You're not gonna remember everything in life, okay? So acknowledge the parts of you that you're really critical of and start taking note of that. And then try to be realistic about it. Life is a journey, it's not about instant gratification and life is all about challenges, which create opportunities. So if you think of everything as an opportunity to grow, then you're gonna be fine. And this leads me to the next thing is change your mindset. So you're gonna to have to start changing your mindset about how you're thinking. I could get into this super deep, but I'm just gonna lightly breeze over it. But it's very, very important. Your beliefs create your thoughts, which create your actions, which create habits, which create your reality. So if you're doing things in your day that you don't like, or you're thinking thoughts like you're not good enough, or you can't do something, or you're just how you are because that's how you are, and you guess you're just gonna settle. First and foremost, these are all lies that are in your unconscious mind from your past beliefs. So starting to shift your mindset and write down the things that you want for yourself so that you can shift your current belief about yourself into what you actually want for yourself and make it a reality. So if you feel like you're not very confident and you're always saying, I don't like my body, it's just making me feel insecure and it's not making me feel confident, start writing down every day what you love about yourself. Start shifting your perspective. Start appreciating the things about you that make you who you are up until this point and try to figure out where that limited belief, where that lie started. It probably started from your mom or your dad when you were younger. So go back to that and take a look at that because usually it's just coming from a place of mom and dad's hurt and pain and they just put that on you. It's not even true. Okay, so number three is take care of yourself and prioritize yourself. Make sure that you're drinking plenty of water, you're eating healthy food as whole food as possible, and not whole foods as a store, I mean like whole food, like from the earth. And make sure you're getting sleep. Sleep is so, so important. When you're prioritizing these things, your day is gonna go a lot smoother, you're gonna think more clear, and you're gonna be more motivated to actually be a better human being. Remember to prioritize yourself first, put yourself first because if you can't put yourself first and take care of you and your health, you're not gonna be able to take care of your kids, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, anybody else. So the next thing is make sure that you're spending time with people that are motivating you to be better you and filling your cup and supporting you. If people are not building you up, then they're tearing you down. Just like if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. When it comes to self-development, you need to really prioritize this. Energy is so important, and the type of energy that you are around is going to affect your life. So choose your friends wisely. And lastly, remember that these things take time. You're a work in progress, and again, life is about challenges and creating a better life for yourself and the life that you ultimately want to live. You're able to do whatever you want to do in life. You just have to have the correct belief system that you're going to partner with and actually believe. So the last thing is, this stuff takes time. Remember, all relationships need work. And the one with yourself is the one you need to be working on first. You have to be able to build trust with yourself just like anybody else. Give yourself grace and learn to really love yourself before you can love anybody else. Be the friend that you've always wanted. Be the business partner that you've always wanted. Be the best friend you've always wanted. Be the lover you've always wanted. Yeah, I said lover. Make sure that you're your number one and not in a weird self-righteous way, but I mean in a very healthy way before you can go and do that with anybody else. So I hope that this video really helped you and put you on the road to understanding how to have more self-esteem and how to love yourself deeper so that you can actually cultivate other relationships around you, healthy ones, and a healthy relationship with 
a special someone. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share my message and I will see you guys next time. Bye.